What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Rio Robinson with the Rambling with Rio YouTube channel. And it's today we're doing something different. One of the best shows in television, Ozark. The final episodes are finally out, and I'm gonna do a live reaction to each episode. You know, you're gonna get my live raw feed. I did not pre-watch this or no corny shit like that. You're gonna see my raw reactions to what happens here because we're expanding. For those of you that are used to tuning into my Washington Commanders content, we're doing something a little different now. I told you each week we're gonna be doing something other than football, and for this week, we are watching the final eight episodes of Ozark, Jason Bateman's absolutely fantastic money laundering mafioso in the Ozark. That's what we're gonna be doing on the channel. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and click the bell for notification. Shout out to my sponsors at WSH on the daily on Instagram. Go ahead and give them a follow. And for your gambling needs, so go to Bet US Sportsbook and Casino and get your bet on. Do it safely, do it smartly, and use my unique link that you'll see in the description below and code JOIN125 on your first deposit. Ozark, final episodes. Ruth Langmore is coming for smoke for everybody. She went crazy after this dummy, Javi Alessandro, just walked like a savage into the Snell house and just domed Darlene Snell and Wyatt Langmore. Just, just killed them both. I left the baby in the house for Ruth to find. Shit is about to go down. Omar Navarro's in jail, in prison. This, this shit is going awry with the FBI. Shit is about to go down, but we're going to get right to it. And make sure you follow along my journey because we're definitely, I'm definitely reacting to these final eight episodes. And you're going to see a lot more shit like this on the channel going forward. But yeah, let's get to it. Ooh, I'm ready, bro. Great shows have to finish great. Don't disappoint me, Jason Bateman. I love what you've done with this show. Also, her acting to finish that episode, to close out the first half of the season, fucking brilliant. Give her all the Emmys, all the Golden Globes. Intro, then fuck with Dre Day. Sticky fingers. Uh, brown sugar. Yo, Ruth's such a hip-hop head, bro. I love that shit. I love that shit. Ruth is Why such not? a hip hop head. If you see the video coming back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Copyright issues. And December 4th, red. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she having a flashback with her cousin, man. R.I.P. R.I.P. to Wyatt. Wyatt's a fucking idiot, but R.I.P. to him, though. Damn, this is sad as shit because this nigga's not coming back, bro. Mm -hmm. Damn, man. Oh. Hmm. I was thinking. We should get some like big ass speakers for outside on the porch. Julia Garner is just an exceptional actress. You're gonna hear me say this a thousand times watching these episodes because she's she's so good, man. She's kind of made this show pop, even though it would have pop, but her character takes it over the top for sure. Ozark. Oh, it's time, bro. We at the final episodes. How, we gonna get right to it or what? You clean something up for me, then get this the motherfucker here. Okay. Can can you can you tell me what you're talking about, Javi? I set a meeting for tomorrow morning at Shaw. Okay. Negotiate the terms of our deal. Okay. Um, and, and the cleanup. Tell me, tell me about that. What 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 do I have to clean up? Um. I mean, she had it coming. Um, why, why the fuck did you do that? <laughs> she had it coming for sure. Should have done it when she killed Dale. Facts. It's that was wild as shit, bro. When she killed off. Dale, season one. And <laughs> yeah, they gonna have to get Javi out of here at some point, though. Javi, the new big bad, just though. Clean up the scene and then, uh, and then get to Chicago. We gotta meet with Claire and Sean in the morning. Javi is the final boss. See, I don't know if Javi or Ruth is the Why final ball, but the, the, ain't nobody she going out there this fast, him. though. For no good reason. How about keeping him alive to keep our family safe? When, that's a pretty good reason. Wendy, she family, I'm Wendy. Kill her just for thinking it. That's, that's like y'all daughter, bro. Of course, it's our business. Look, this is this is not personal. The Wendy it's ain't true. shit, bro. Just, just let your father and I talk no, this out. No. Okay, what could you possibly still have to figure out? Talk that talk, Jonah. 
and I'm trying to figure out a way to keep her her whole face. family dead. She's literally the epitome of all my friends myself. are dead oh, except on, family. Jonah, sure. can you just can you give us a second? Jonah. This nigga Jonah don't fuck with them at all, bro. <laughs> Marty is so fucking passive, bro. Wendy be out I'm here right. walling. Just you're being emotional. Put your foot down, Marty. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry, okay? I will rip your tongue out of your mouth. <laughs> you need to talk emotional. practically, please. That's what I am doing. If Dahabi dies, we have no leverage against the bar. Die. We're it's as good as dead. Die. Ah, well, I don't know, bro. Roof is coming for uh -huh. souls, bro. Bitten. Look at her. You see that? That is the face of someone that will find someone who just killed her cousin and her whole family dead, bro. She's about to fucking come for souls, bro. Oh, shit. Wendy might kill the birds, bro. I said Wendy. Um, Ruth may kill the birds. I just have some suspicion that Charlotte's going to die. I've been calling for Charlotte's death for three seasons now. Like, I want the character dead. Her character doesn't really serve a purpose. Like, Jonah actually facilitates the laundering. He's Marty Jr. What the fuck is Charlotte's purpose on the show? She's just there looking like Trevor Lawrence and existing. Hey, New York State of Mind. Pop that ill, man. Hey, she's such a hip-hop head. Every season, she in a whip bumping hip-hop, yo. Yeah, yeah. Not nah, so nice, bro. Yeah, Ruth definitely about to take her, find her ass to Chicago and go get this man. Or at least make an attempt. I doubt she's offing him on the first episode of the back half of the season, you know? Are back now. Just please fucking tell me something, anything, please. But I don't want you to get hurt. Jonah gonna hold her down. Anything. Jonah definitely gonna hold please. her down. Why, why, why you keep looking at her? What, what, what the fuck do you know? <laughs> I love her accent that she puts on in this show. That shit is so impressive because she don't sound nothing like this. Or in the Anna Jones Please. that she was on also on Netflix. If you ever cared about why at all. Oh, there you go. That's all you had to say. Because she liked that hillbilly ass nigga for some reason. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's going down. Thank you. Or at least it's going to. There's going to be an attempt. I assume there's gonna be an attempt because she already know what a meat is. Oh, she pulling out the cash. She must be driving. She ain't about to take all that shit in the on a plane. She about to whip smooth to Chicago. Oh, and they she, and they gave her the picture. Oh yeah, this nigga's out of here. He's out of here, bro. I'll be okay. You here to kill me? <laughs> Just wanted you to know that we thought about it. This bitch. We know we owe you. What does that fucking mean? It means if you want to kill Javi, we won't stand in your way. Wendy Cap'n. Cap. Are you saying you'll help deliver him to me? Cap. He's on a plane back to Mexico right now. I won't see him for a couple of months. Wendy lying ass. Charlotte just told her that they're coming to Chicago. What you want, we'll make it happen. She ain't even a good liar at this point. Because you owe me. That's right. I'm fucking bitch. Facts. Nah, Ruth gotta be the one to put Wendy down this season, bro. I'm rooting for that shit. You gonna hear me say this every episode. I'm rooting for it. I need it. We have you booked with us for two nights. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. That's cool. I hope you're not calling me with problems. Well, I am. Uh, I'm at the Snell Farm, and um, uh, it's it's crawling with cops. Yeah, no shit. You just murdered two people there. Just get to Chicago, and I need you. Javi, like man, just go ahead and clean the house, and just come down to Chicago. Don't even worry about that, problem. bro. People die every day, B. No. Sound like no. Cameron from Paid and Fool. Is there something else? Okay. You know, you just talked me out of this exact thing. That's crazy. She just now getting a gun after all this time of thugging so, through four seasons. I have to thank for taking care of Darlene. Look at Tommy Egan. He's supposed to be in Chicago. Speaking of Chicago, he's supposed to be in Chicago right now running shit. It's clean. My man out here in the Don't Ozarks. No one. Just make sure you dump it after you use it. 
Yeah. So weird hearing Tommy. Don't get in your head about it. Joseph Sakor not speaking in his some... Tommy voice. Buy you a drink when you get back. I don't like that. That sounds like a death flag. I'll buy you a drink when you get back. Shows when they be foreshadowing deaths. It's always some shit like that. Next time you get here, let's have a drink. Dinner's on me when you return. That's always a, a death flag. Don't play with my emotions like that, bro. Squad. She a goon. Look at her. Hood up. Pistol on tuck. It's go time. I like how they're getting right to the shits, though. The fuck? Oh, no, this is a daydream. This is a day. There's no way. <laughs> I'm, about <to> say, <laughs> I'm about to say nah, son. She ain't just walk in that joint and just murk this nigga like that. Because Wendy already told me. Chill out. <laughs> she asked me if I knew where you were. What'd you tell her? I, you know, I said that, that I had no idea. Marty, you, you know her head ain't straight. Her whole fucking family dead, bro. You got your whole family still. Is this you asking or your fucking foundation? Facts. It's you just me. Puck ass know. wife. If you're all right. Yeah, I'm okay. Camila. Supongo que ya todo el mundo sabe que His mama. me dio la bendición. Mm. Es que me preocupo. Voy a estar ahí en dos días. Muchas cosas pueden pasar en dos días, hijo. Mira, no voy a perder el rey. Yo voy a estar ahí, pasado mañana. Look at them giving Javi death flags like this nigga really about to die in this episode. This nigga's not dying this early. She pulled up already. She already outside of Shaw Medical. Let's see if she gonna move smart. Like you've been around Marty. Marty ain't no killer, but you've been around Marty enough to know how to use your brain. Like she's smart. She's not stupid like the rest of her family. Ruth they can't just walk in this joint and bust this nigga. There's no fucking way she's that stupid. Why would hate you're doing this? Please. I love you. Hmm. Hmm. And niggas know Ruth about that life, bro. Everybody know Ruth about that life. She is already ten toes down in Chicago across the street from where they're about to do this meeting at. There ain't no way. Let Javi come walking down the street right now. It'll be over. It'll be all she wrote for my mind, my boy. Uh, no, Yo, this this soundtrack is just bumping the whole episode. The fuck? Who's she looking at? The fuck? I'm good. Uh, sorry, I, I just wanted to say I really love your show. Who is that? I appreciate you. Hey, my nigga Killer Mike. What is Killer Mike on Ozark for? Anyway. Hey, son, this is this, this oh, episode uh, is like an ode to hip hop, bro. Nothing. What is happening? That's Killer Mike. Legend. He's like, what this fucking little ass hillbilly white girl know about this New York state of mind? <laughs> like, to respect. <laughs> respect. <laughs> Hi, this is Charlotte Bird. I'm just calling to. <laughs> the Hi, Charlotte this is Charlotte Bird. <laughs> Look at Charlotte having right, some purpose on the show. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Julia Garner is fucking great. This is her show, bro. I know this is Jason Bateman's baby, but this is her show. This is Julia Garner's show. I just hope she's composed and doesn't just lose it and just start busting everywhere. All right, let me get another look at this nigga. Target locked in, downloaded. You know? Oh shit. Don't give it give it a second, Ruth. That's Javi, but give it a second. Put on, bro. It's so it's so goon like. Oh, she must be looking straight at this nigga because she is she is focused as shit right now. Which is why 
I think maybe we take a moment, let you get back to Mexico, get your infrastructure set. <laughs> Claire can tell you a thing or two about how hard it is to transform a family business. The stock will be in my mother's name. She's not on any law enforcement list. She's simply a citizen. These, you know, companies, they, they issue stock options and the shareholders, you know, usually have some sort of explanation. Your shareholders will be happy if your company does well. Perceptions are fluid. Like power dynamics. <laughs> and my other classmates. Now that he runs the business school, he's invited me to dinner to discuss the nation. Well, clearly, he's found a way to incorporate my family's tile business into the school. Now. <laughs> tile business. Speaking of which, did you Javi swear he's smooth, bro. We <laughs> You can't just bust them in broad daylight in Chicago, though. Like she got, she got to put some more thought into it than that, though. Ruth, Ruth, you're not, you're not a mafioso. You can't just pull up on this nigga in broad daylight in Chicago, unless you really just don't care what the ramifications of it are. Thank you. Regroup. Come back in the morning. Put a better. Pl oh shit. Ah! <laughs> Marty Caesar, like God damn it, B Rabbit, the fuck are you doing in Chicago? Like, oh, she really, it, it just hit him right at this second. Like, holy shit, like she really is going to kill this nigga. <laughs> what? what are you doing, Ruth? What? Are you serious? What the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> giving you time to cool down. Oh, shit, she was protecting your fucking bird family, Circle Jerk Association. <laughs> Circle jerk associate. <laughs> you know I'm fucking nice. <laughs> Call these niggas a circle jerk. The They're building a whole fucking life that should be ours. She might kill all these niggas at some point. Like she might kill them all. Like I see vengeance. She got that Robert Patterson Batman face. I see nothing but vengeance coming. A forty top, <laughs> bro. Oh, yo. <laughs> yo, they gotta relax with these fucking daydreams, bro. <laughs> He don't really seem to care what Javi talking about, though. Sounds like you're in a perfect position to make a donation to the business board. Nah, he said you got some money for me, though. Anonymous. Obviously. Anonymous, yeah. obviously. I don't think Javi liked that. <laughs> and why is that obvious? Oh, God, he's going to kill this nigga. Well, I, this nigga, Javi, man. I just want to protect you from people with their hands out. You just hear it with his damn tone. Nah, they don't want to see the Hispanic gave up a big donation. Of course. I used to think Javi's gonna fuck this nigga. He's gonna you kill were not this nigga. Particularly interested in my thoughts on business back when I was a student. I just thought you were very private. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, he's actually I was one of the most social people in the class. You heard hmm. He's gonna kill this nigga, bro. <laughs> as soon as they leave a the restaurant, it's over for cuz. Must have been my mistake. It's over for cuz, bro. R.I.P. to this business teacher nigga. He's out of here. You could just hear it in the. <laughs> I'm just gonna run through the washroom. Oh, it's all. Yep. No. Excuse me. R.I.P. My guy. Piss ain't even hit the urinal. He already in the bathroom. <clears throat> Yo, Javi really different, bro. Is, uh, is something wrong? What if I offered you $2 million, but I said I wanted my name in a building? Or... Oh, this nigga's bugging, bro. I could beat the living shit out of you. That's what's going to happen, bro. It don't matter what you say, bro. Be anonymous. You say? Is he smiling? Oh, he's about to kill this. You heard me. Oh, he's out of here. <laughs> he's out of here, bro. How would you do that? Click, click, boom. Yeah. Woo! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now you better get a nigga swirly in the urinal. <laughs> that was disgusting, bro. Javi's <laughs> a sick dude, yo. Yeah. 
uh, my people write the check. I have my people write. The, hey, that was swaggy though. I, I'll give them that. <laughs> I have my people write the check. Look at them just having a little nice little wind. Oh shit! Roof pulling up the dinner. Roof pull. Up. Guess who's coming to dinner? It's Ruth Langmore. We all paid up in here. Hmm. I'm sorry. What is it you think you're doing here? He told me he was on a plane to Mexico. I lied. Fucking Wendy. Fucking shoot Wendy too, bro. Shoot Wendy first. I think Wendy's a bigger problem than Javi. Exclamation! We're not. You said you were going home. <laughs> you told me. Facts. I never said no words about going back to the Ozarks, big guy. Big difference. Someone needs to explain to me what is going on. I'm not just gonna sit here and be bullied or intimidated. Tell her to take us to her office. Who the fuck is? The head oh shit! Right here. Yeah, <laughs> who she thought Ruth was? She had Ruth fucked up. Will someone please tell me what is going on? Javi killed her cousin. Call him. Listen, I, mean, I know, I know that you're hurting me, but you're gonna put all of our lives in danger. You know, <laughs> showing his life. She don't give a fuck about y'all nigga lives right now, bruh. Her whole family dead, bro. Ruth, what do y'all not understand about that? Look at me. Not who you want to be. I think she wants to be it, bro. Look at her. She's, she is B-Rabbit right now. Fresh from the shelter. No future. God. I used to love to hear you fucking talk. Just, just give me a number. Bitch, you need to shut the fuck up. Ruth, please. Come on. Javi dies. Gosh, she's a great Everything actress. That we work for. Just fall she down. don't care about none of that shit, bro. Her cousin well, just got murked, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Like, what the? F yeah, these people have a te like. I love Marty. That's my guy. Fuck Wendy, but they have a terrible you know you're in business, knack right? for empathy. They will tear everything you have to the ground, and somehow they'll make you feel like next time it'll all be different. Fucking soulless. She's fucking soulless. Oh wow. The fuck? No oh, shit. Jinx your Ruth. Heart out of your chest <laughs> if it helps her get what she Jinx. wants. Yo, shoot Wendy, bro. She's like a fucking predator that doesn't even know why it's killing anymore. Yo, that's gonna make, bring me great satisfaction when Ruth kills Wendy. That's gonna bring me great satisfaction. It's Marty, gonna be like when Joffrey died in Game of Thrones. He doesn't have any real emotion. Or else he's too fucking cunt struck. <laughs> <laughs> She called Marty Cuntstruck, bruh. You really think? To the FBI, Clara's going to sing her ass off. How is this shit about to go? Javi, it's, it's Wendy, Wendy Bird. Listen, I, I know it's late, but we're all here in Clara's office. And Quickly. Ain't no way, bruh. Ain't no motherfucking way. Is Wendy really on the phone right now? You don't have to do this. Oh, no. She's really going to off this nigga. You can be something else. Unless this bitch like snitches and fucks the whole operation up right now. She knows. One thing I will say about Wendy. Wendy does understand that Ruth is going to shoot I'm this so nigga if he pulls up. Down. Oh, my gosh. She really is about to murk this nigga, bro. Family, yo, they set this the episode probably about to end right here because it just feels like it's the first episode of the back half of the season, and he's the big bad of the show. Like, how is she really about to just off this nigga? Like, right now, bro. Please. Yeah. Oh, nigga, nigga. <laughs> she got this. <laughs> she got this nigga out of it, bro. That's how we doing, Jason Bateman. That's how we starting the season, bro. Now tell him clean it up and leave like Javi did. I'm going home. Now, oh, don't say a word. Just walk off like a fucking G. Oh, my God, Ruth Langmore. She not done either, bro. She's going to come for Wendy, bro. I don't got her killing Marty, but she's going to kill Wendy. Is she the villain now for the rest of the season? Omar punk ass probably get out of prison now, huh? I don't really see who's the who's the problem. Is it one of the FBI agents? Is it Omar? It gotta be Omar, cause the, this nigga's dead, bro. He didn't just survive that shit. She just 
clipped his ass up as soon as he <laughs> felicidades <laughs> claire is sitting back right now like what the fuck true. did i get into we need to wipe down every surface She's like, who are you people, bro? Like, I know y'all launder for the FBI. I mean, the cartel. But who the fuck are you people, bro? You don't know who you just got in bed with, my dear. Ruth sitting like Thanos after Infinity War when he went to rest. After he just fucking shitted on half of the existence of the world. <clears throat> now I may rest. <laughs> Head ass. And this, this episode of Ozark was brought to you by Curtis Jackson because she became Tommy Egan this episode. My goodness, man. That was crazy. <clears throat> and that is that is episode eight, Cousin of Death. On the last season in the final episodes of Ozark, that shit was crazy. And I enjoyed it thoroughly. They definitely caught me by surprise. The soundtrack was fucking phenomenal. Julia Garner just impresses me more as an actress every time I watch an episode of this show. Uh, Inventing Anna or anything I see her in. I can't believe she just offed Avi. Javi, Javi Alessandro, the first episode back of the final episode. So I'm very curious to see if she's the villain going for. If Omar is going to escape from prison and have... And come for the birds and them, or is it gonna be like the cartel family coming from um Mexico? I'm excited to see where this is going from here. But they started off the back half with a bang. I see why the season was cut in half now, and that is the perfect way to start the back nine of the season. Uh, I'm gonna have a whole series of reactions going to the end of this and going forward on the channel. I'm gonna be doing movie shows, trailers, all types of shit, as well as the Washington Commanders NFL football content that I always do. Until next time, deuces. <laughs>